Hi, it's Phil from Teach Blend, and in this video, we're going to look at how we can actually pin a Wakelet collection inside a Microsoft Teams meeting. So it looks like it comes up at the side of a chat menu when you're actually doing a live lesson. Now, this is really useful because what it means is you can put resources in there for students as you're speaking through. You could even have a lesson plan or points of order in a meeting and use it as a resource bank. It might be that you're even discussing that Wakelet collection so you want to pin it. Now, this does come with a caveat. At the moment, you have to invite your individual attendees. It will not yet work in channel meetings. This feature is obviously coming soon. But for now, this is how you do it. I hope you find this video useful, and if you do, please remember to like and subscribe to TeachBlend, it really does help. Cheers. So here you can see I'm inside a meeting inside of Microsoft Teams, and one thing to notice, this won't work with channel meetings yet, you do have to invite your individual participants. Once you've done that, what you can do is then close this off, and then that will create your online meeting as usual. But what I want you to do is click this and then click the chat with participants option. You can click edit as well, but I like chat with participants. Once you've done this, click the plus tab and you'll see apps optimized for meetings and you want the Wakelet one. Once you've done this, you can then start to add the Wakelet by clicking add. Now, if you've not used Wakelet before, it's a fantastic tool for digital bookmarking. It allows you to create resources and information that you can then put inside of Teams or share with students and peers. So here you can see I'm going to create a blank one, for example. You essentially just click the plus and you can add images, bookmarks, PDFs, etc. and create a collection of resources. Here you'll see I've got an example one that I want to use with my students for Safer Internet Day and I've got resources, presentations, links, etc. that I want to discuss with my learners in my remote lesson. But this could be lesson plans, prompts, etc. I'm going to copy the link at the top which I'm then going to put directly inside of that Teams meeting by pasting the link into the Wakelet app that I've just added in Teams. Once I've done this, you'll see that the Wakelet is now embedded inside of that meeting. So these can be discussion points for meetings, a lesson plan for an online lesson, resources for your remote session or meeting, etc. Once I've done this, I'm just going to go to calendar now and I'm going to join this meeting or remote lesson. So here I'm going to click join and then I'm going to just click join to add the meeting. Now, all your students would obviously be in this meeting or peers, but you can see at the top now an extra tool has been added, which is the Wakelet logo. I can click this now, and what you'll see is that the Wakelet that I have embedded comes directly inside of that remote session, and you can browse through this as well as students and peers. So here you can see I can click the PDF, and I can have this opened up. So if we were discussing the PDF or a website, a video, etc., this is a real nice, easy way of accessing resources in your session as well as giving them resources to students. And this is far superior to the chat menu because those can get lost in the conversation and the resources can get muddled up. So it's a real nice way of giving access to students. I hope you found this video useful and if you did, please remember to like and subscribe to TeachBlend. It really helps. Thank you.